<sighs> okay, so with Kingdom Hearts 3 being literally less than 17 days away, a bunch of new information came out that I really wanted to see and talk about earlier. I was kind of too lazy to do it, so uh, we're about to do it right now. Uh, yeah, there's a bunch of new information that I'm getting right now from Kingdom Hearts 13's website. They got all the information, whether it be from Twitter, and put that on their website, so it's all right here in one package area for me to read. So major, major shout outs to them. They are awesome. They always do this crap, and I love it. They are awesome people. Go check out their content always. We need to get into this. So like three big pieces of information kind of came out that I kind of wanted to talk about, and we can go over this one at a time, as you can see probably in the title down below. I'm just titling all of this in the title down below just because it's easy you all can see it and I want to just talk about it with you guys we're about to go in this one by one okay so first off the game novel for Kingdom Hearts 3 has a release date for March 28th 2019 uh yo everyone in marketing down in Japan for Kingdom Hearts 3 and people that published this for Japan what about us what about the USA boys dude give me a copy like being legit I would love to have a copy of a novel for Kingdom Hearts 3 being brought over to the US. When I saw this, I was like, dude, what? Dude, give me a copy. Like, translate that crap, bring it over here to the US so your boy can have a good read. Like, this sounds crazy and I would love to have it. And basically, it's being sold on the Square Enix store for about 741 in US dollars or 800 yen. I would love to read this, and it's called Volume 1 Restart, so it, I, basically the whole Kingdom Hearts 3 novel is going to be separated into, I'm assuming different parts if I'm correct, so like Volume 1 is Part 1 of the Kingdom Hearts 3 novel, Part 2, Part 3, and so on, I'm not sure how many novels there will be, but basically right now the cover is also still being announced for the novel, they don't have an actual cover yet, and we're not going to see anything for the cover until the game comes out, you know, spoilers, and you don't want to see anything like that, so yeah, that's awesome, I wish they bring that over here to the US, I would buy that in a heartbeat, I kid you not. Uh, yeah, bring it over, please, Square, please. Okay, so going over to the second big kind of news information that actually is huge, and I'm doing this in order in terms of how they came out, so in terms of hugeness, this would technically be the biggest thing, but I'm doing this in how they came out. Basically, we were confirmed by this a while ago that we were going to have, uh, basically, DLC content for the game in terms of the secret movie and what's going to come out, but now we officially have the date for when they're all going to come out, basically. And that's freaking awesome. Now, in my mind, I'm thinking, you know, after the game comes out for like a month or two, that's when they're going to release the DLC, but yo, I was way off, way off. We can see down here for Tuesday, January 29th. We're going to have an update for several data fixes. You know, no big deal. And for the memory archives. Now, if you don't know, in Japan, they release this thing called the memory archives basically on the website that shows kind of like a catch up series to things that happened in the past Kingdom Hearts games that you could be caught up for Kingdom Hearts 3. And now it's confirmed here. They're going to add that to Kingdom Hearts 3. It's going to be a memory archive option that will be added to the game's title menu. It can be viewed at any time. So that's really, really really cool because I actually wanted that for the US because if you go on the website you'll see it there I saw the whole thing but I couldn't understand any of it you know it's, it's in Japanese I don't read Japanese ah uh, yeah that's freaking awesome but on Wednesday January 30th we now see the epilogue video now here's the thing I did not realize this was going to be DLC. They only said a way, way long time ago that only the secret movie will be DLC that will come out at a later time. I'm thinking that the epilogue, basically the epilogue for the Kingdom Hearts games, for example, at the end of Kingdom Hearts 2, we see Sora and Riku on Destiny Islands talking, Kairi comes up, shows the bottle of Mickey, they read it, pans out, that's where the game ends. That was the epilogue, right? I'm thinking that they weren't going to release that as DLC. I thought that'd be fine, but no, a Apparently here, it's going to be DLC, and that's kind of interesting. I really didn't think that was going to be DLC or that they needed to hide that, but apparently it's going to be pretty big, and we can see here on Wednesday, January 30th, that's when that's going to be released for the US, and that's really interesting. We can read here, players will need to have completed Kingdom Hearts 3 and have seen the ending to view this video. So yeah, really, really interesting. Now, I, I don't know how big of a spoiler this would be, but I'm assuming it's gonna be kinda big because this is now DLC. If it wasn't gonna be big, they wouldn't have to make this DLC. Very interesting, very interesting. Now, for the third thing, on Thursday, January 31st, 
the secret movie will be officially revealed. And like I was saying earlier, I really thought they were going to bring this out like a month or two after Kingdom Hearts comes out. So that way everyone will have like a good time and just a good, I, I guess, play through the game and just finish the game all together. But nope, like, dude, it's like two or three days after the game comes out, the secret movie is going to be out. And... Once it comes out, that's it. We can all see it, see the goodness, see the juiciness of what's gonna be in it, and it's gonna be right here. That's crazy. And if you guys basically don't know, a bunch of people have been leaking Kingdom Hearts 3 footage all over the internet, a bunch of stuff about the games, cutscenes, just the whole nine yards. It's crazy. And it got so bad that one time, a leak where a guy sold a bunch of Kingdom Hearts 3 Xbox One Edition games, it, like, he sold them all over the internet on Facebook, and Tetsuya Nomura himself literally had to come out and say, Yeah guys, we know what happened, we're working on this to figure out what's going on, and that's why, that's exactly why, a reason like this is why we made the secret movie a DLC, so that that wouldn't be spoiled, or if someone got the game early, too early, they wouldn't have the secret ending. So don't worry guys, it's safe. You won't be spoiled on that at all until the game fully comes out. So that's awesome, Ayunamura. And we can see here now, yeah, on Thursday, January 31st, the secret movie will officially be out. We can read down here, the players will need to have completed Kingdom Hearts 3 and seen the ending, as well as fulfill certain criteria during the play to view the video. And yeah, that's a, basically the norm for all Kingdom Hearts games. Uh, you have to basically, depending on the level you do, do different things in order to unlock the secret movie at the ends for example you know if you play like on a normal difficulty level you have to get 100 everything to unlock the secret movie if you play on you know hard mode expert mode all you have to do is just complete all the worlds and yeah that's what they're saying here the criteria is going to be the same it's not going to be all you get the dlc you will download it and you get to view it for free you still have to do the normal stuff you have to do in a kingdom hearts game to unlock it so have fun guys, you're not gonna get it the moment it comes out. So when it comes out for me, uh, I probably won't be able to view it the second it comes out. I'm still gonna be playing the game for a good bit, but yeah, very, very interesting. We can see kind of down here that the epilogue and secret movie are video content that will en enhance the player's enjoyment of the world and of Kingdom Hearts. And yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts. Always, always good to see secret movies, it's like, it's crazy, it's crazy. But these pieces of downloadable content are additional elements for Kingdom Hearts 3, as we know. And the main game allows players to proceed to and view the ending without the need for an internet connection. So yeah, no internet, you know, it's a cutscene. We don't need internet connection. It's not freaking YouTube. So yeah, that's crazy. That's awesome. So yeah, like this whole big batch of updates are coming out freaking soon. So soon that I did not realize, but very, very crazy. But you know, on to the third thing. So basically with the third thing, this happened today. I woke up today, I see this, it was like, whoa, what? And I know basically on the Japanese Kingdom Hearts Twitter, they have confirmed that for the last few days, they're going to do something to show off some Kingdom Hearts stuff and just promote Kingdom Hearts 3. And it kind of begins here because I woke up today, I see this and I'm like, whoa, Nani Sudane. Uh, we see here that the Kingdom Hearts 3 Countdown's 13th Day Media unveils more information on the new organization 13's plans. And basically, we see down here a bunch of pictures from trailers that we have seen already of showing some members of Organization 13. But we do see here in the middle a brand new quote from Kingdom Hearts 3 we have never seen before. Like, hold up! Like, ah, oh, dude, crazy, man. Crazy. Okay, and as we can see here, it reads, We only need his heart in order to forge the key. We do not need his soul. 13 days to go. Excuse me? Like, uh, hold up? Like, man, what does he mean by that? Or who does that mean by that? Because we don't know who's saying this. We don't know who they're saying it to. But it can be really, really implied that they're talking about the main boy, our boy with the key, Sora himself. And maybe they're talking about how they don't need his soul. All they need is his heart to force the key. And by key, I'm assuming that they're talking about the Keyblade, the counterpart to Kingdom Hearts. And I guess, but it's like, what do they mean by they don't need his soul? Basically, just kill him and just take the heart? Like, on some Deltarune type crap? Like, like I I don't know. I don't know. I would I, like, I really want to believe that it's something along those lines of, we don't need him. We don't need the body. We don't need anything. Just grab the heart and go. That's all we need. Then we're going to go dip. I I don't know. I don't 
No, I, I would love to know. <laughs> I just don't. It, it's crazy. And basically, we're going to get more of this, apparently, as the days keep going. Because they say, hey, for the next 13 days, we're going to get more of this. And just, dang. I, wow, wow. Like, I don't know, guys. I don't, I, I really don't know. I, I can't wait to see. More of this, I would love to see. This, overall, this news and information was very, very good. Really enjoyed it. I can't wait to see what more new information they bring out before Kingdom Hearts 3 begins. I just want to go over all of this with you guys because like I said in the beginning of the video, I was lazy to talk about this when this came out. The moment it came out, sorry, I'm freaking lazy. I'm freaking 20. Like, sorry guys. But yeah, awesome new content, awesome new information. Just what do you all think guys? If you want, you know, tell me what you all think in the comment section down below. Like my video, if you like the video, and if you like my content as a whole, hey, subscribe to me. That'd be awesome, guys. This is Shark Tank, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a great and awesome day, guys. Peace.